Texas National Guard troops deployed to the border through Operation Lone Star could be stuck having to pay unexpected federal taxes, and it's all because of a payroll error. And joining us right now this afternoon is James Baragan with the Texas Tribune. James, first of all, thank you so much for joining us. We know that you've been following this story. What was that mistake that state officials found? Well, thanks for having me on your program. And uh, the mistake was that the state uh, payroll system that the Texas military department is using usually pays out uh, wages once a month. But in order to line up with federal payment programs, TMD went to twice a month payments. However, in doing that, it led to this mistake on how much federal taxes were being withheld on those paychecks, which means now that uh, service members who served uh, or are serving on Operation Lone Star could face uh, taxes of hundreds or if not thousands that they were not expecting to pay come tax season. Okay, so you touched on how much they could possibly owe. Do you know how many service members this affected? We even received an email into KXAN from, from one of them. We are not clear how many people exactly are affected, but we know that the, the change in pay from going to one, one paycheck to two paychecks basically affects 96% of service members. That's from the Texas Military Department's own information, but we have not been given a specific number from the agency, from the department of how many people are affected specifically, even though uh, Congress people like Veronica Escobar of El Paso has been asking for that. Okay, and do we know yet what's being done to, to fix this problem? Well, we do know. Uh, the Texas Military Department found out about the issue, they said, in July 2022. Since then, they've uh, had briefings, they've held town halls to try to alert service members of the issue. Um, but we heard from some service members who have left the mission who said they still have not heard. Now, we know that the issue will be resolved next year, beginning in January 2023, when they switch back to that once a month payment. Okay, and we know that this isn't the first time there's been some problems with payroll for some service members. Can you give us just a brief rundown, James, of what happened back in 2021 and those issues that were caused then? Well, after Governor Abbott asked for a ramp up of service members on Operation Lone Star last fall, uh, we saw those numbers go from about 1,000 to 6,500 total people on the border. That led to significant uh, upscaling of the mission, uh, which led to problems on pay issues. Uh, but it wasn't just pay issues. It was also there was some pretty difficult living conditions that the service members had to live under. Um, pay was not coming in on time. Pay was not coming in the right amounts. All these kinds of issues. And we've also seen uh, suicides of service members tied to the mission, which um, there's another suspected suicide uh, earlier this month. All right, James, thank you so much for the perspective on this. Thank you.